wonderful rise of rally in gold and silver as expected 1700 levels achieved in gold and 2080 in silver now what can be expected today which position you should take in order to profit we will try to see with the help of charts and indicators Missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit. Do not commit this mistake. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. The next update on gold will be up before the US cash session. So do watch that also. Yesterday I asked you to buy gold at 1670 and see what we have achieved here. Now what can be expected today? Let's see. On the hourly chart it appears. On the hourly charts you can see it is trying to retrace a little. Possibly it may try to trade in this fashion for a little while before it tries to move any which ways up or down or decide a direction yes 1690 is the level below which you can definitely try to initiate a short position till the time it trades above 1690 i will recommend you to avoid taking a short position here at the same time if it tries to trade above 1701 yes that is the time you can buy go dropping below 1690 you can again expect 1684 80 as a very good support and in fact now this time 1674 levels will be seen as a good support breaking 1670 it will enter into the bearish territory directional movement is bullish trying to converge stochastic was overbought now looking downwards and the MACD is also willing to converge crossover for a sell let's see if it does RSI is overbought hence we can see a little drop from here on the 2 hour charts likewise it is trying to drop from here and possibility exists that if we see a third candle yes it may try to come back till 1690 1684 levels which is a good support and below that we may see in fact it dropping further till towards 1680 1674 levels if it continues to trade so yes only sell position below 1690 buy at 1701 directional movement is bullish trying to converge stochastic is overbought hence we may see a little bit of cooling out here the MACD is also trying to converge. RSI is extremely overbought, trying to cool down a bit. Likewise, on the 3 hour chart, see these three candles all trading outside the Bollinger Bands, getting a strong pullback from here. You can see probably this candle must trade in red. How far it goes, that is what we will see. But yes, this is going to trade in red, and possibly a second red candle may also appear, which might try to take it till towards 1690 levels. And in fact, low further below levels are also possible. Yes, you can try to initiate a sell entry at 1695 expect 1690 those who want to take a riskier trade you can trade here and expect 1691 1690 levels to get achieved and if it draws below we can certainly expect a further sharper drop safe traders should enter only at 1690 level so sell at 1695 but then 1701 you should watch out for above 1701 you have to buy again directional movement is bullish trying to converge the stock stick is overbought may take a dip here MACD is divergent and it is still in the greener side of it. Let's see if it continues to remain in green. RSI is overbought indicating we may see a little bit of drop from here. Look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts. Likewise, yes, it is overbought. Hence, yes, you can take a sell position here itself at 1695. Expect 1690, 1688 levels. Below that, we can expect the next candle to also achieve 1684 80 levels and from there a bounce back can be expected possibility exists that it may try to trade little bit or uh, drop little bit before it tries to give you a bounce back the directional movement is extremely bullish it is divergent stochastic is also overbought likewise what you have seen on other chart uh, MACD trading with a divergence and it is trading bullish RSI is overbought indicating it may try to take a possible cooling here now look at the daily charts on the daily charts you already seen higher highs here only breaking 1701 you can expect it to rise else a possible drop can be expected and see if it tries to trade bearish it may erase the gains completely till the time it trades above 1660 anyways you should not consider it as bearish but yes possibility exists that it may erase the gains what we have taken see also look at this you can clearly see on the daily chart this is the highs of this channel and only breaking past this zone at 1705 you can expect that it is trying to reverse a little and specifically if it tries to in fact go till towards 1720 1730 till there you have to be a little bit cautious but yes for the day it appears that this is the high and possibility from here exists that it can try to reverse so be cautious with the rise be cautious on the buy side 1701 you should take care of only above 1701 you can buy the directional movement is bullish here it is crossed over 
stochastic is overbought the MACD has also crossed over and this has achieved a high possibility just that from here it may try to remain in a, a sideways movement or may see a little drop RSI is looking downwards so considering this you can sell here at 1695 expect 1691 levels to provide first support 1688 1684 1680 till 1680 it has got very good support 1674 is the another level and be below 1670 definitely it is going to remain further bearish till towards 1665 levels and if it breaks 1660 consider that is extreme bearishness in the case of a crash only it will drop below 1660 levels yes you can sell at 1695 buy at 1701 and if it trades above 1701 definitely you can expect stronger bullish moves there you can expect that gold might hit 1705 1710 1718 levels also now look those who watched yesterday i told you what it is trying to show you it may give you similar size of candle either today or tomorrow see it has formed this candle yesterday itself now it is trying to retrace so yes sell at 1695 and expect it to drop a little today trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment and now let's have a look at silver and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably taking right entries right exits at the right time you can join my mentorship badge the next badge is going to start on the first week of November. only few seats are available reach out to me immediately to book your seats now missing on this training is definitely you will regret the profits for lifetime so reach out to me join the mentorship batch now look at the early charts of silver it has stabilized here try to give you swing, swing here yes if it trades beyond 2060 certainly you can sell there and expect it to drop for 2040 2020 in fact 2000 levels or 20 dollar levels can be expected there directional movement bullish trying to converge stochastic was overbought looking downwards macd has seen a high on the early charts possibility exists that we may see a drop from here rsi is overbought the two hour charts likewise similar is the observation it is showing a reversal here it is showing a breakout possibility exists that we may see a second red candle too on the two hour charts and hence you cannot deny 2040 levels and then below that 2020 2000 levels are also expected there directional movement is bullish trying to converge stochastic is overbought the macd has seen a high possibility from here for it to converge exist rsi is extremely overbought and hence a drop can be expected the three r charts now look at the three r charts showing you highs showing you lows yes sell at 2060 expect it to give you sharp single red candle taking it till towards 2040 2020 and below levels Mac direction movement is still bullish. Stochastic is overbought. MACD is divergent and bullish. RSI is extremely overbought. And on the four hour charts, likewise, see it is sustaining 2060. That is the observation. If it draws below, certainly 2050, 2040, 2040 at least cannot be denied. And below that also, it may show you sharper drops. So sell at 2060. Very clear. Direction movement extremely bullish. Stochastic extremely overbought. The MACD divergent and extremely bullish rsi is overbought hence sell at 2060 should be a safer entry look at the daily charts on the daily charts see it has seen a high probability exists that it can try to reverse some of the gains 2040 2020 2000 levels cannot be denied here you can take a position and expect it to drop a little and on the downside in fact 1980 1960 levels cannot be denied so only buy position today is about 2080 sell as 2060 in between 2060 and 2080 do not trade and directional movement anyways is extremely bullish stochastic overbought the macd just two candles and it is peaked out here possibility from here to converge exists strong rsi is trading flat so considering this sell at 2060 buy at 2080 about 2080 2100 is the target below 2060 2040 2020 2000 and 1980 1960 it can drop it can reverse the gain what it has seen yesterday be cautious with the trade there on the buy side be cautious be alert i think it will drop first to a lower level before it tries to see a bounce back and hence you have to be cautious till towards for any bullish entry till towards 1980 and plus plus levels yes you can buy there at 1980 expect it to rise there so take your positions accordingly trade with a trailing stop loss trade with a stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment become a part of my mentorship badge become a part of my signals group 
or else become a pattern and support the effort all the three links mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you